American Space Agency, NASA, is due to announce, actually, they're getting underway right now. I hear a press conference, and it is the launch of its most audacious mission yet. Rather hot one. Uh, they're going to fly a spacecraft directly into the atmosphere off the sun. Uh, the spacecraft will be placed in orbit within four million miles of the sun's surface, we hear, uh, facing heat and radiation unlike any other in history. Well, its aim is to try and help astronomers predict solar storms among some of the other mysteries uh, that are in this planet. Let me bring in Dr. Robert Wicks, who's here on set as that press conference gets underway. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about this? Uh, 10, definitely. <laughs> this is the, the era-defining mission for the next 10 years, I think. And why so? Uh, it, we're going the closest, or I say we, NASA. Well, you um, have been there at I, one I stage. I did used to work at NASA, yes, but I can't claim responsibility okay. for this. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, going as close to the sun th than human technology has ever been. So, like you said, very, very close, very intense heat. Uh, we want to learn as much as we can about the atmosphere of the sun and the impact it'll have, uh, or it has, on us here on Earth. So, Doctor, I just alluded to there, like, that's if there's solar storms that take place, they can then have an effect with us down mm. here. Do you want to uh, tell us a little bit more about that? I certainly can. Um, when there's a sort of flare, so that's a big eruption on the sun, um, it pushes radiation out and matter, so plasma, part of the surface of the sun, gets launched out. That comes and hits the Earth, uh, and it compresses the Earth's magnetic field. What that does is it causes radio interference here on the ground. It can cause power failures uh, in our electricity supply uh, and increased radiation dose if you're up in space or um, air crew, so the radiation levels of air crew can be, can be impacted. So it's going to be a year, though, before they launch. They're mm -hmm. very excited, I'm sure, with this press conference uh, that they're having. Um, but it does sound like a dangerous mission. Uh, it is. It's certainly the most extreme environment we've ever sent a, a probe into. It's uh, at closest approach. It'll be more than 2,000 degrees centigrade in heat. Um, more than half of the spacecraft is actually a heat shield. That wonderful picture you have behind you, that conical shape at the front is all heat shield. Uh, and the actual spacecraft on the back is the size of a washing machine. And if any of that spacecraft pokes out from behind the heat shield, uh, it will start melting immediately. So this is an incredibly technically difficult mission. It's requiring new technology in that heat shield. Uh, and it's, it's an incredibly dangerous environment to send something to. How long, you mentioned you worked in NASA, how mm. long has this project been um, under consideration or planning? Well, the, the original uh, solar probe was uh, proposed back in the 90s. This iteration has been about 10 years in the making. The proposal was accepted in about 2008. And mm. when will we know whether it's been successful? Uh, actually, quite quickly. It's only going to take a, a year or so to get very close to the sun. It's going to do a number of orbits getting closer and closer and closer but it'll, it'll break the record for the closest man-made object to go to the sun within one year of launch. Um, we have been seeing some lovely pictures there, as you mentioned, Doctor, but um, I'm reading that we can probably expect something fairly stupendous. Uh, I certainly hope so, yeah. It's, it's completely unexplored territory. It's very much NASA's mission to go places that people have never been before. So we, we don't know anything about this region other than what we can see through a telescope. So this will be the first time we actually send scientific instruments there and measure in situ. And perhaps it's the place that has uh, such a daily effect. It's probably one of the places in the solar system that we're most connected to. In a sense, yes. I mean, the, the, the wind that comes from the sun, the solar wind, hits us all the time continuously. Uh, if you ever see the aurora, the northern lights, that's mm. caused by the solar wind. And it's this region of the sun where Solar Pro Plus is going uh, that's the source of that solar wind. And we really don't understand it. Why is it so hot? Why is the solar wind so fast? Uh, what happens to the magnetic fields and how are solar flares caused? So it's many, many really pivotal scientific questions can hopefully be answered in the next five or ten years. Dr. Robert Wicks, uh, UCL Institute for Risk and Disaster Reduction, specialising in space and the solar experience. So thank you very much for coming.